here of the Inferno National Touch League. And it is Jamin Bob who has the football in hand. Tap it to get us underway. 40 minutes to go for these two teams. One to be crowned the National Touch League champions for 2021. Here we go, underway. And here's the Bulls. Starting us off here. Kelso in the half. Goes away from the sweeper. Griffin's coming around the back now. Kelso, early ball. Griffin gets down low. Tristan Wag makes the touch. Last one here for the Bulls. Any trick plays up their sleeve. Kelso just fires it out and almost reeled in there. Braden Hegarty. Shark Swinger had that one under control, but that was a beautiful ball. Norman now rolls through. It's Dave Barr. Good metres down the sideline. Jesse Curtis now keeps him going forward. Tristan Wag, more of the same. Pride always drives in, coming into the last. Russell now pumps, pumps, looking for a penalty. Won't get it. A little bit frustrated early. Kelso. Contact on the first two touches there from the Sharks. Doesn't disrupt the flow though as the netty now comes onto the field. Over the halfway line they go. Stanhope. Cridland goes short. Touch made there from Beaton. Filling each other out early here, these two teams. Corey Russell gets the Sharks over the halfway line. Zayberg Muir, his first touch in this final. Devere, straight to the line. Russell loses his footing, gets back up. Jinx, trying to claim his six to go, doesn't get it. Sinetti now takes the first touch. Tough first two touches there for the Bulls. Over to the box they go now. Griffin. This is a lot more tentative than I was expecting for the first couple of minutes of this game. But the error here, so the Sharks are going to have a chance to drive down from the, uh, the halfway. Griffin comes up a little bit ginger after that contact with Marcus Holm. Reclaims his position in the left link. Nice ball work there. Zayberg, Muir and Norman. It's good to see these two players link back up again. Early ball, Curtis. Loses his footing within the seven. Last touch now for the Sharks. Norman manages to thread it through. And the six touches claim. Finger pointing going on out there. Lachlan Crow plays it. Have to go back to the mark there, Jardel Bob. Crow again. Griffin towards the box. Plenty of changes. Zanetti gets away from one. Tries to claim the penalty. Let me go against CQ here, though, by the look of it. Looks like this is a sub one. This is a seven on. Yep, yep, seven on. So an interchange infringement there from the CQ Bulls. Been tight on that all week. Final's going to be no exception. Beaten now. Comes in, love on the sweep, puts the ball in one hand. Good speed in defence. Right now, Russell. Ooh, straight back onto the footy here. There's a bit of open space here for the Bulls. Do they get onside? Free says that Corey Russell does. Jamin Bob then rolls forward. Leonard. Damon Moore now. Onto the park for the Bulls. Cridlin picks up. Does he get away from one? Touch is being called. Adam Pride on the boot laces there. Really tough battle out there early on here, Shooks. Yeah, you have to say Sharks have probably got the better of it at the moment with the midfield battle. And the, these bigger games are usually won in the midfield battle. So they, they, they'll be happy with the first couple of minutes here. They spent a lot of time down this end, which is good for them. Dave Begmuir, he's back on. And Russell manages to hold on. Still skips away, gets away oh. from the defence. Fires one over the top to Dayberg Muir and Cridland having to come over. 
What about that from Adam Russell? This is when you thought the play was over. Gets back to his feet and creates a half chance. Have a look at this. Yeah, a little pop over the shoulder almost. It's good defence at the end, but open up that little bit of an opportunity. Crow dishes, pops it out off the fingertips there. Jardel Bob. Oh, penalty here to the Bulls. Plays offside. This is CQ's first chance up here, so it'll be interesting to see what they got. Young Jardel Bob, he'll probably have a go middle, middle first before going to a sweeper for Harry, I would imagine. Let's see how it plays out. Here's Jardel. You know, the wraparound play left to right off Griffin. Bat back in from Higgity. Oh, Kelso. Going to call forward. Yeah, yeah, get the bat back. Play was the right one. The execution not quite there, but that was really well played. Left to right, long ball. Tap back from the winger. Yeah. Dave Bergmiel was only just coming into picture there. This is over the mark, I think. Nathan Beaton. Field referee signifies. Bob here. It's back midfield. Crow looking back up with Bob. Griffin in the half. Scoops of the left hand early from the deck. Comes off the left foot. Left to right. Little bit of space out there. Hegarty holds. They come back midfield. Tense battle out here between the two. Sharks holding their nerve in defence. CQ promoting the football around, trying to get the Sharks to bite. Opens up a little bit in the middle. Now it's taking a deflection there. Back into the hands. Well, hello. Might be a bit of uh, honesty coming about from one of the Sharks players. It's come off their hands. Let's have a look at the replay here. Yeah, it takes a deflection first. Up back in the hands of CQ. They're going to come back and say six more touches here to the Bulls. Griffin tries to get on the outside. Touch made. Nathan Beaton. Another good opportunity here for the Bulls. Full set of six. Attacking the line. Leonard in the half. And picked off. Jaden Love. Hasn't got the wheels to go all the way. Jack Leonard comes across in cover defence. Jesse Curtis heads off to the sub box. Dave Mart, the captain of this team, rolls forward, as does Adam Pride. Sweeper for Drummy. Goes short in the middle to Drummy. And Damon Moore saying he made the touch. A little short ball there. Almost comes up with points. Yeah, we've got no score here. Yeah, unbelievable. These two attacking teams. Real battle at the moment. No one able to get the ascendancy in this match just yet. Crabbing crossfield there, tell Stanhope. Cridlin now. Goes back midfield. Little bump play and they can't connect up. What you do find in these big games is that, that you can have an intense period of about 10 to 15 minutes where there's no tries and then all of a sudden there'll be three or four uh, in a row because um, one of the more, most important things is um, after a set of, after your score is to defend but that, that seems to be the bane of a lot of these teams uh, when you get that 15, 14 minute mark. Here it goes, Adam Russell, he's looked pretty good early on. Back back there from home on the Tristan Wag. Pull it back. And just to build on what Gavin said there is that the, the, there's that period of feeling each other out, trying to probe around the edges of the defence, trying to find where the weaknesses are. And then, yeah, exactly that. You'll get it. Yep, we found, find a gap. Maybe a couple of tries scored both ways and it just really opens up. But we haven't got there yet. Still just trying to feel each other out here. Yeah, big touch there from James Sevier. Again, that's a good win for South Coast, just over halfway. So, yeah, they'll be really happy with that. 
second touch over the halfway line now. Mr. Beer rolls forward. They're going to be in good position here to have an attack at the back end of the set. Jesse Curtis on for the Sharks. Last touch. Norman. Norman into the goal area. No, oh, did he get it down? No, dropped it. Right in front of the referee, Kim Skelly. Oof. Let's have a look here at the replay. They played through the line, managed to get away. It just couldn't oh. get it down. I think the in-goal line might have been playing on his mind as well. Pobbled the ball. Chance gone begging there for the Sharks. Now, can CQ make them pay? You see this quite often. They can't progress through. Dave Ma makes the touch. Big defensive stop there for the Sharks. The battle continues. Big Muir now. Adam Pride straight and hard into the line. Russell off the fingertips of Dayberg Muir. This feels like a bit of a weird feeling out yeah, there as well. There's a bit of a lull in the crowd. They're just watching these two teams just go back and forth, up and down the field. And, and it's almost like it's, it, it's because there's no tries. It, everyone's just kind of expecting try after try after try and there just hasn't been there yet no touch but what you can say is that it's been a really good midfield battle which yeah, means exactly. that no errors getting up and down which as a coach you'd be really happy with so um both coaches will be fairly happy south coast have got a full set of six here so it'll be interesting to see what they've got and for the touch football traditionalists this is the ultimate game of footy isn't it just two heavyweights here where they just can't crack each other at the moment real battle between these two Attack is as good as the defence on both sides of the field. Adam Russell can't get through the defensive line. James Devere, love to Devere. He can't hold on to it. A couple of little errors from both teams. Not able to capitalise on their opportunities. Good metres there. Hegarty, it's away from one. Griffin. So this will be back for Harry for taking off. Go away from him. There's and Damo. More. Look for the left to right. Oh, they tried to bat on. I wonder if he could have just held on to that one potentially himself. Let's have a look here on the replay. This is Damon Moore's bread and butter. He just went the bat straight away. So I thought there was a bit of pressure coming in. Look in the CQ box. And you chat amongst the boys. Meters from Ma. Norman inside ball to Jesse Curtis. Dayberg is sweeping here. They go away, putting the teeth as Norman. Curtis tries to get on the outside. Damon Moore makes the touch. Supported by Hegarty coming in as well. Harry Grant, Harry Grant, Harry Griffin, I should say. Leonard drives in. He'll come back for the touch and pass. Still not able to crack at the moment. 13 minutes, sports bet would be a lot to nothing, I think. On nil all at 13 minutes. When was the last time we had a nil nil final in the mix? Oh, that had to oh, oh, happen. Yeah, I was going to say, it had to go forward. Russell's still playing on here. That's the Redlands play, though. It worked in the round game, mm. and they almost got another one there. Ladies and gentlemen, all of our services will cease at 7.30 p.m. All of our services will cease at 7.30 p.m. Tough one. Line ball. You'd have to say both teams have had a few chances, but just haven't quite converted yet. So. Damon Moore here. Goes out long. Again, early in the touch count. Probably starting to look for some plays that might be a little bit uncharacteristic. Try and open this game up. Yeah, you probably wouldn't be stretching 
too far outside your, your normal playbook just at the moment yet, hey. You just want to stick to your structure, keep probing around, see where the weaknesses are. Eventually they'll open up. Curtis fades out, love in the half, pumps once, and it came off the body. And there must have been some hands involved as well. Just got that, that arm up, a little short arm jab on the ball, and it just, I think he might have been just trying to pull the hand out of the way as well. Yeah, young Damo Kelso in the link there got a hand to it. Yep. Okay, you see Pete and um, Drummy here, so they'll be setting something up together. And they've only got five on South Coast, so really tough to have anything work with five on. Ethan Beaton comes onto the field now. That's him in the number two. Gives it back to Norman. Dayberg Muir feeds Norman. They feed it across the line. Beaton gets touched. Looking comfortable at the moment in defence CQ. Norman, Ooh, contact here, get the penalty, let's go back from the CQ balls. It's a little bit unlucky, he's kind of just, it's not an intentional, nothing intentional in that one, just solid contact with the penalty. Here's Zayberg Muir, left foot, left foot, nice read. Damon Bob makes the touch, comes up again. Corey Russell, nothing there for him. Norman, David Muir this time comes off the left. Stan Hope, big touch. Really good touch there from Talos. Not going to get much better than Drummy one on one, and that was really good touch. Beaten, they hold off him. Come out, Russell in the half, shows it to Beaton, goes long. It's going to be forward, yeah, gonna be forward yeah, they couldn't well. ground it. Regardless, out to the seven they come. CQ Bull straight back onto the football. Again, it's that right idea for the tap back. It was, the player was in the open space. So both teams have had the same sort of an opportunity for that tap back play from the winger. Just haven't been able to execute it completely 100% right yet. Cridlin, get away. Finish deep down. Sharks end of the field. Nice little wraparound play. Extra meters here for Jesse Curtis. Extra pass out to Beaton. Almost overrunning it. Penalty here. Bulls give that one away. Two and a half to go and still nil all on the pain away scoreboard. Who would have thought coming into this men's open final would be locked up without a try. Another penalty. Zanetti. Slowing it down again. Pride will burn one. Plays on the seven. Receives the ball back. And in Pride. Don't get away from Cridlin. Or Bob. Love sweeps and you go away from him. Pride feeds it on the outside here. Touch made. Harry Griffin. Great tag. That looked like that was in for all money. They feed it through now. They go across the face. They'll run out of space on that left hand side of the field. Nathan Cook turning the ball over for the Sharks. This will be CQ's probably last set before the half, so. I want to be t putting it down the other end if possible. Tough opening touches. I say, gets himself in a half now. Damon Moore onto the park. Feeds it to Jamie Bob. Moore footwork. Does to be. Leonard now goes through the line. In the Sharks defense, they slide across and shut it down. Under a minute on the clock. Russell, simple footy here for the Sharks. Rolling down their sideline. Beaton does the same. Last opportunity, you think, is going to be here for the Sharks. Nice roll on, coming off the extra wraparound play. Russell goes left to right. They're running out of space. Back inside of Peter Norman. Beautiful try. 
flirting with the sideline. My Phillips gets it back in, and it took us 19 and a half minutes, but we have finally got the opening try here in the men's open final. Back against the grain, the four on three, long ball out to the winger. Just got the execution right that time. Pete Norman was very, very happy with himself there. And Mahuda is about to sound in the background. Referee's going to call time on this one. And after an extremely tight tussle between these two teams right before the halftime break, the Sharks get the opening points. Both teams back on the field. They're eager to rip in after what was a really tight battle in the first half. Only the one try in it. South Queensland getting that one and back underway. Here we go. And the Sharks in possession. Let's see if it opens up now. Good opportunity here for the Sharks off the tap off. Sweep they go two up. Sweep of a drummy. Slight defense there from the Bulls. Right now, plays it down. David Muir oh, gets him. Just beat. Right, but that's unlucky. Wow. He's still got it. It's a game of such fine margins, and we were just before the uh, the half time, I was just sort of thinking that that's the, the game is so close, so tight. Every that midfield battle, every touch is about 100%. Right, we just lost the footing. Gives Dayberg Muir the chance to get through it. Double the Sharks lease. Spot on there was Justin Cridlin. Just loose grass underneath. It's a wayward pass there for the Bulls. They're going to get a penalty though. Not moving forward. On Drummy's try, they say don't dance with the feet. And that's exactly right. So you've got the two main players out here, Damon Moore and Harry Griffin. So we'll either have a sweep for Harry or four on three for Damon. Early ball and they thread the needle. Oh, that save. He oh, will put it down. Great hands. So here we go. Two tries, one apiece here in the second half. The Sharks have still got the lead. 2-1 on the paint away scoreboard. On the first points here for the CQ Bulls. Just beautiful hands. Just a turn away ball nice and early and the link is able to get a ball straight through oh that is just sleek from harry griffin i think the south coast winger might have his time again it's just a chase out situation there and he's yeah. come in the link had, it, had him covered easily huge ball out there almost dips into the hands there of marcus holm Back in possession. Rolling down their sub box side. Back in field now, Mal Kenny. Contact there by Adam Russell. Slows things down. Stan Hope will finish it off in the corner. James Devere takes the head. Home. Heads over to the sub box. Corey Russell gets him going forward. Wag inside ball. The pride. Russell scampers across field. No options out there for him. Makes the touch. Quidlin now. Ball back out onto the park. Leonard. Ooh, just couldn't pick that one up. Throws the head back, Jamie Bob. Oh, just holding on to that one. Off the deck, Corey Russell. Norman switches in, Curtis. He'll pick up and go here from half. Comes off the right foot, plays out the back. Coming in and shutting down on Dayberg Muir. Now Kenny, straight back onto the footy here, the CQ Bulls. Penalty given. Crowd's happy with that. It's really well read by Mel Kenny. Really hard situation with that flop line out the back. Just a bloke holding, so really well read by him. CQ 
Thank you. Good chance here for them to go back to back. And they oh, will. What an absolute curler on the ball. Barry Griffith. Try scorer there with Kelso. Drink this one in, guys. Well, it's just a, just a beautiful ball, but the, the play that has got players in motion all over the place. Two players have come in, one player's gone out. That's the hole. Go straight into it. Back locked up, two apiece. First two tries going in the way of the Sharks. They can't connect up there. CQ, Spawn, two of their own in the second half. Get the penalty for the forward pass. Hard yards down the sideline. Here for the Bulls. So they get the changes onto the park. Which way is this one going to go? It's going to go on the way of South Queensland. Just feel the crowd just starting to get a little bit more animated now that they've seen a couple of tries. I think that was they were all a bit nervous. Now that they've seen a few. Righto, this is more, more what we're expecting. Oh, oh great hands from Mark. And use of the hip. Rolls it now on last. The pump trying to feed it through. I think they've got oh, a point to this spot here. Yeah. There's a bit of protest going on from CQ. All to no avail. Kim Skelly points to the spot. Let's have a look here on the replay. Maybe it's before the ball's on him. No. Oh, as he sliced on through. Definitely claim the touch. Corey Russell in the half. Holds it up. Right. Looks like he splits through there. Yeah. He's right in front of the on field referee. Kim Skelly had the best view of it. Third on the board, CQ back on the attack right. though. That's just pure speed on the outside here. Yeah. Oh, good oh, touch. Crowd's not happy. See if we can have a look at that one again. Griffin now just rips it out. Well, big moment. Here we go. Chad. Damon Bob. John L. Bob, sorry. It's a try. Oh, oh. That is a try. That's Gordon begging. Now oh, well. They've just got to keep their composure, keep their heads here, CQ. I know the points are starting to open up for them. Sometimes you don't get the calls your way, and as a Tasmanian, we know that one all too well. This is a big defensive set. Oh, love. They created the opportunity. Did not need to rip the big flick out there. You can see you shaking your head on that one, Shooks. Yeah, just that, it, it'd be just a step deeper and running there. It would have been hard to stop there. So I, I agree with you. You just got to make certain that you, you don't let calls upset you. You just got to maintain your rhythm, keep your game plan. And CQ know that the first the first round game, they came over the top of them. So they'll know they would have spoken about that. So that'll be definitely in their mind. The coaching the cliche. Space out here. Is... Zanetti will get on the outside, does he? Touch claim, beaten. Coaching cliche handbook, I just started to say, is uh, you, can't, you can only focus on the things that you can control. You can't control what the referee calls. Get back up, go again. But it is starting to open up after that first half. So I think we'll see some more, more touchdowns coming here. Yeah, the back, Ma, numbered up, touched David Moore. Well, they're going to get an extra 10 for not returning the ball to the mark. Pressure on De Beer. He's out of the line now. Still having to get on the back foot to get back on side. Makes another touch. They go at him again. Griffin gets away from well, the Beer. In goal area. Oh. Just loops it up. Couldn't connect it. Griffin just, just got a step there because the uh, the Sharks player, De Beer, just, just stumbled just at the crucial moment. So he ended up having a little bit more space than I think he realised. So he threw a high risk pass instead of holding it for that extra couple of steps to find the open player. But couldn't have seen it because it was right behind him. He's looking dangerous though, Harry. So yeah, yeah. Um, one thing is that um, CQ will be going back to the hot end. So he's probably set up a couple of their touchdowns and look pretty dangerous. So I'd be looking in for him to get a little bit more ball coming into the last couple of minutes. Oh, 
was on. Not sure what happened there. Jesse Curtis is losing control of the footy. Phillips coming in and making the touch from his left wing. Kelso skips away. Bob picks up, comes off the left foot. Good defensive read there for Mike Phillips. Penalty, no offside. Big chance here for the CQ Bulls. Full set six to attack. More tries to bar it in for itself. Yeah, yeah body to the spot. Thank you very much. So they finally get a bit of redemption there, CQ. And they leveled it back up. And it is the experienced man, Damon Moore, that gets it done. Oh, wow. Looking at it from the side, it looked like there was no space at all to get through. But from front on. ML play had the defender break short and the actual saving defender holding and Damo went straight through the gap. Back locked up, three apiece on the paint away scoreboard. Corey Russell now in a half. Nothing there for him. Forced to go backwards on the back foot. Couple of groans from the crowd. Flicked out the debut Muir on the run. Back to love into oh. Russell. Oh, what, what happened there? Why would he give that pass? Oh, well, we've seen two really big moments. One got taken away and the Sharks have squandered one there. He just had to put it over the line. I can't believe it. Just fall over, mate. That's unlucky. Well, these that's things just... happen in grand finals. Big moments and the pressure. Well, I guess that's a little bit of the same thing as what I was just talking about before when Devere stumbled in defence. Giving the uh, the attacker in half a little bit more time than he realised. I don't think that uh, he quite realised how much space he had there to get through and just pull over and put the ball down to score. Because generally someone's shutting down on you there, yeah. so you've got a yeah. bit of a spidey sense. But if, um, if 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 actually someone told him to put it down, he just he obviously felt someone was close and passed it. So, yeah, amazing that he didn't score that. Well, I feel like the footy gods have righted everything now. There was one <laughs> taken away from CQ and, and the Sharks there. Let one go. Well, it's an even playing field now. And just saw then the referees look like they were going to give the ball back to the Sharks. Oh, you're not going to get in underneath there. It's a tough one. He's just checking to make sure his teeth are still in because he's pretty much the ball, ball has just sputtered straight into the deck there and not moved an inch. That's and then he's put his head straight onto it. Davy Mart put his hand up straight away. Might have been a bit of a claret or something going on. Tough contact. It's tough trying to burrow in under here. Okay, so Harry's on here. This will be an I'll, I'll back an ML play here for Harry. Or a four on three for Harry. We're just going to get him checked out. It's Jack Leonard. He's gone out. A little bit of contact with the head. Nice step back oh, against the Two bobs. Two bobs. Magnificent. We're up and about now, the balls. They're just starting to flex themselves a little bit now. I first saw Jay, uh, JDL Bob at uh, the school sports event in Canberra 18 months ago where he was still playing under 15s. I saw him there travelling with the Tasmanian side, but the four sides that we had there, but that is just special. See Jack Leonard getting a bit of medical attention. Looks like he's got a bit of an egg on the, on the noggin already as Norman tries to feed it to Jaden Love. Almost on the outside shoulder. Touch there, it's in Kelso. Norman, they're going to get the penalty. Outside players moving forward. Changes coming onto the park now. Corey Russell, Nathan Bearden. Full set of six here attacking the line. Norman and Dayberg Muir on the park as well. Plenty of strike here for the Sharks. There goes Jermaine. Great touch from Justin Cridlin. Keeps his footing this time around. Such a strong defender. He's Cridlin. Russell fires it back. out the back. Not enough space. Well defended. Room. A bit of a grab on the jersey there for Kenny. Play a bit on. of eagle. Dayberg. Good hands. Good hands. They got it Great this time try. around. Diving effort in the corner. Ball is down. Marcus Holm. 
that, slams it in. That, that's the play that won Australia World Cup here on this exact same ground. Um, drummy sweeping, early quarterback play to Norman, onto Russell in the corner. Very hard to stop because everyone's worried about Drummy's left foot and um, you have to collapse in, so really good play. And I was just going to say after he had that first crack at the line a moment ago that the thing about a veteran like Dave Miller is everybody's scouted him. Everybody knows where he's, what, what he's likely to do. But he's still got all those other skills that are tucked away in his bag of tricks. CQ now back on the attack. We've got numbers Great out here. Ball. Beautiful ball. Oh, left to right. That thing moved not an inch vertically. That just went straight flat across the ground. A link. He's in a, just a beautiful hole. Harry Griffin again, four on three. Like I said, they're smart. Yeah. The link was looking for a shot there, but didn't get it. Straight to Damo, straight over. Under five minutes to go in this one now, lads. It's really starting to open up as predicted. You knew it just wasn't going to be that tight first half that we first saw. It's 5-4, uh, Gavin. Are you, uh, comfortable with the 5-4 call at half time? I, I, I did tip 5-4, <laughs> but we, we still got four minutes to go. Oh, Ooh. that's... Oh, Leonard strapping on the melon. After that knot we saw a little bit earlier on, the first touch gives the football straight back to South Queensland. Russell sweeps around the back. Pops out in the front there. They've got numbers, have they? Yes, Holmes going to go over for two. Just back to back. To He's trying to lift the crowd up in his favour as well. And back out in front now in South Queensland. You can see they had the numbers. Locked up, I should say, five apiece. You can see they had the numbers out there on the, uh, the left-hand side. Just had to execute each one of the passes. The margins are so small. The skills held up. We are locked up. My two favourite words. Three and a half minutes to go. What else is going to unfold here in this men's open final? Oh, tax the line, players down. They've got numbers here. The Bulls, hard one for Hegarty to take. Manages to hold on to it. That was half a chance there for them. Pass hits him on the chest. He might have been over in the corner. They've still got the ball in possession here. The CQ Bulls. Moore picks up. Ooh, running into each other. Tight one. South Queensland. The Sharkies straight back onto the footy. Referee Calabria just, just ruling that the defender wasn't playing at that ball. Tough metres there from Nathan Beaton. Fear does the same. Adam Russell scoops it with the left hand. Plays out the back. Oh, he's dropped that one. Now Kenny. Again, another moment. Probably could have just let it hit the deck. No one around. Percentage players to let that one hit the deck, even if the attacker scores, uh, catches it. Home oh, attack short right there. side. Two wingers coming together. Another oh, big moment in the match. Sharks, David Muir he gives it. Oh, they oh. folded over here, Ben. Can't get on the outside. Same play. Russell picks up, comes off the right foot. Oh, might have hit the link there. The link was open. So we've got right one again. set each left, 38 20. So there'll be one set each. Oh, they bounce that as well. No, play on. Damon Moore. Tucks it under. Stanhope does the same. Moore again. Early ball. Oh, look at the space. Ooh. That's a three on one. Sharks in possession. Wag. Nathan Beaton. And plenty of touches in the match. Jesse Curtis, Adam Pride picks up. Out the back to Love. Good Comes defense. off the left foot. Yeah, touch made. Actually, Change it over. We've got another set here. Go the full distance here, the Bulls. 
Can they take it away at the death? Oh, well for Mark. 45 seconds left. Wow, this is the all, game right here. All the guns will be on here. Wasting time. There they are. The tap and go. Norman comes onto the park. Beaton's going to head off. Who comes on here for the Sharks? Corey Russell. David Miller. Here he is. Feeds it. Russell can't burrow in underneath. One eye on the clock, 15 seconds to go. This is it, one set up, one go. Norman. Russell. Why's the skip away? Five seconds. Last play here at the death. Can they pull it away? They can't. That's here he goes. Left. Here we go. And into extra time again. We're about the 10th time today a grand final has gone into extra time. So Completely sec different second half. Wasn't exactly like you predicted, Chooks. It opened up. Yep. They still can't be separated, though, at the full time break. And now, um, with CQ having the first tap, that means it, um, Gold Coast get the first tap. So, given the, the drop-off rules, you'd have to think there, there, there's a bit of advantage tapping off first. Because obviously, so, yeah, but uh, great game, though. Five all. <laughs> Contra like the two halves are completely different, weren't yeah, they? Yeah. One nil, and then the five all opened up, and it, it, and, it has, and it actually had to because the pace was a sensational, and people they were just holding on. So great second half, and this will be a very, very, very interesting drop off. Sharks coming off extra time in the semi final as well. That went down to three on three. How much does that play into it? Have they still got the juice left in the legs? Well. Oh. Knowing Lothi, I think they would have done the work, so you're hoping that they would have the legs. And he, they, he might even think of an actual advantage having one played one before. So, um, yeah, and CQ had the easy semi, so you just don't know how. Like, they obviously see Dave there, and Eddie talking to him about making sure that they, they get fired up for this drop off. So, yeah, this, this will be very, very interesting to see who, who comes on here. I said to you earlier on when we had one of the uh, the drop offs, it, it, uh, drop offs extra time often just comes down to uh, to effort and speed. So two minute period here, four on four. It's going to be a free for all for this two minute period. Let's see if we've got a a winner at the end of that. If not, we're down to three on three. That's what happened with the Sharks semi final earlier on this afternoon. See what they go with here. Sharks, Norman Pride, Adam Russell, and Corey Russell on the field. Got more Bob Cridlin, Harry Griffin on for the CQ Bulls. Here we go. Two minutes of extra time here to try and decide the men's open champion at the NCL. Russell just lost his feet. Great defense from Cridlin. And they were trying something there that they haven't tried through the rest of the game. They had a sweeper with a wrapper. On the outside. Oh, does he get it down in time? Touch is made. Oh, Adam Russell. He thought he had it. Norman got on the outside of his man as well. Gee, that's that close. That is really close. Good touch, Damon Moore. On the back foot here as a couple of changes come on. Tristan Wake. Good drive. Such a solid defender. Good drive from Griffin. That's regained some momentum that they, they were struggling to build there. Ooh, this happened to throw it away. Didn't know that was fifth touch. Yeah, I thought they might have had another one up their sleeve at least. And lost the count. Again, pressure moments in the grand final. Well, I can't get away on that occasion. Corey Russell switches. Gets the ball back. Tayberg Muir's on for the Sharks. Jaden Love out here on the left edge as well. Drum sweeps, takes him on, puts a foot down, tries to skip away. Is the touch being made? He's missed He's it. Finally got it. Tayberg Muir. Count at the man, count at the hour. He's celebrated three times here tonight. Ooh, and finally he gets to celebrate for the right reason. Right, let's have a look at the clock here. They're going to have to go. Ten seconds left. Sharks up by one. Let's go. They won't make a touch. They won't make a touch. They've got to go. They've just got to throw the ball around yeah. now, CQ. The Hooters going to go. 
There it is. One last go here. Can he skip around on the outside? The touch is made by Jesse Curtis. And the Sharks have taken the title. What an epic men's open final this was. And it's Dave Bergmuir. Can you believe it? The legend gets the win for the Sharks. Well, he, he certainly has done the work. He, I've been talk, I was talking to him earlier, and he, in, he's actually been really enjoying playing with the young blokes and the intensity and just trying to prove himself. So, um, yeah, and that second half, he scored one. He was involved in everything. He, 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 he was the decoy for the sweeper with the quarterback. So you'd have to say that he was an integral part of that second half in the win. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the, that's the triple for the Sharks. They've won all three of the, uh, the grand finals here in the Opens divisions. And that's uh, that's just a dominant performance from them as a uh, as a permit, and uh, really really entertaining day. I'm, I'm I'm now sad because it's, I've got to wait another year till I come back, for, till I get to come back from Tassie to come up and see some more of this quality football. That is sensational. Oh mate, I'm going to spend my whole Sunday going back and watching all the finals. Uh, outstanding from the seniors, masters divisions. We had drop offs, extra time as well. All of the Opens finals were just amazing competitions between the teams and a fantastic way to finish off the 2021 Inferno Touch League. Great win there from South Queensland in the extra time again. I don't know if there's any much more that can be said, boys. Just a great tournament and uh, well put on by Touch Football Australia yet again. So pleased to have been here, to have been part of it again, especially after the year that we've all had to be here and the... Uh, and the, the just the event itself has been virtually hitchless. Well, the last national event that was held with everyone in was the uh, NTL last year, and then the first one back is NTL this year. So it's it's um it's just great to have everyone back playing touch, and just the quality that we had today was just amazing.